Hello friends and welcome to how to get started modding OpenRA. Um, this is going to be real basic stuff. Uh, right here you'll see the link which I've provided in the Infinite Campus uh, assignment. Uh, brings you here. The first thing to note is you can see back in 2018 this was last revised so there are going to be some things that are slightly out of date. Um, the next thing you want to do after you have this page open is head over to OpenRA. It should be on your desktop. Right click and you're going to duplicate it. Name it something completely different. If you just leave it as copy, it can get very, um, very, very confusing, especially if you do multiple different mods. So modding try one. And then if you really want to get fancy with it, you can search up icons. I always search Mac icons. I, you could search for any icons really, but I always find going here is what's easiest for me. Uh, and to change the icon, I'm gonna select the application, hit Command I, and after you've hit Command I, you just drag and drop whatever the icon you want onto there. And then you can see on the desktop, it changes the icon. So again, less of a chance that you're gonna get confused and mix up the original RA. Because if we go back and try and play the game in class and you open up your modded version and play with it, chances are what will happen is you'll connect, we'll start the game, but then whenever you um, attempt to use whatever you've modified, it will end up crashing everyone's game. So once you've done that, you can now open or right click, show package contents of the application. I'll do that once more just so you can see it. Right click, show package contents. And you can see the contents, all these things. Um, the info.plist by default opens with Xcode. You might have to download some additional things. That will be fine. But um, mods RA. That's where most of the information that you're gonna uh, change in OpenRA is going to be. It may look different, but if you look up here, you can see I'm on um, list view. If your um, view looks different, you can also see the path, which I have uh, here to where I got. So it's in the application, contents, resources, mods, RA. And the YAMLs, you can see, uh, if I were to just hit open, it's Xcode by default. Personally, I prefer Sublime Text because it's not so over the top, um, meaning Apple's Xcode has a lot of stuff to it and this is uh, a lot less uh, involved, so to speak. Um, this one, the Chrome thing, I believe, mostly has to do with the user interface. And as a matter of fact, if you wanted to change things uh, where are the UI bits yeah so you could actually change these by um, making copies and then opening these in GIMP 2.10 they're probably both versions on your computer but if you use GIMP 2.10 you could mess around with these put them back in uh, so like what I mean is I'm gonna duplicate this one and the reason for that is because if I want to go back and change it, I'll still be able to, or like I have my copy, but that's going to be the original. Because now I can go, I can open it with GIMP, but for the purposes of expediency, I'm going to mark up here. And I'll just do like a, this obviously wouldn't look very good, but I could do that and done. And that's what would show up in the game. like over your buttons there'd be like this weird red mark that would be unrecognizable to to you because it obviously where it is appears at different spots like the uh, part of the flags but those don't appear all in the same place at the same time so you gotta remain mindful of that I, my favorite one I did was uh, I made one like Mario the other Waluigi I, and I don't feel like that's gonna 
uh, probably not crash the game. Like if you were to come into things like the uh, the rules and you can see all the rules and over here in the modding guide, this will tell you um, how you can adjust these things. Um, adding a faction can be uh, involved. And then there are other pieces to this, like I know up here at the top, some of the, um, oh, mod SDK. I have not been able to get to work on the uh, Mac, but if you want to give it a try, certainly uh, that may have changed since I've last tried where they have a bit more accessibility. Um, these will tell you here what you're able to change in the game. Um, I would suggest this one. Uh, that's a pretty good guide. Uh, adding uni units or factions can be really cool and it is achievable on the Macintosh. Um, but with what I've shown you right now, you will have at least the, um, the start to it. Uh, I'll just open up, what do we want? What's a good one? Infantry. So I just double clicked on it. So it's gonna open in Xcode and you can see it's still opening in Xcode. Whereas if I just do sublime, boom, it's open right away. Uh, different, different view certainly, but uh, it kind of is your preference. If you wanna change some stuff, a color scheme, there's all sorts of, I like the last one, whoops in both Xcode and in Sublime Text. Uh, you mess around with stuff. You can see pretty straightforward here, the dog you can make uh, costs $20, $20. Um, this is what's, you, like you would see on the um, screen, what's written on the screen, uh, tool tip wise. Um, hit points. If you get really carried away, chances are it's going to be, um, it's not gonna run the game, it will just give you an error. So it looks like speed 99 and that's probably the top speed. So if you go 990, it most likely won't work. So yeah, feel free, um, save it. <laughs> feel free, uh, save it when you're done. So the only modification I've made is that dogs cost 20 save instead of 200 all right that's been done that's saved when I launch here we'll just double check to see that it did indeed work which I'm sure it did um, I'll go multiplayer create create I'm gonna be a Soviet faction because the Soviet factions have dogs. Ah, look, that's the weird um, red thing. I didn't realize what that was right away, but that's the weird red thing that I wrote over. Um, okay, options. Yep, weird red thing all over the place. You'll do explore map, no fog of war. Give me some money, need to buy them dogs. Game speed faster, start. Okay, power plant. If I were very clever, I'll show you this in a second. Because um, obviously it's gonna take me time to test some stuff, but since it's the dog, it's not such a big deal. Let's see. Oh, now I need to build the kennel, not the barracks. So dog obviously gonna be pretty simple to buy. For twenty dollars, yeah, twenty dollar dog. Um, however, if you needed to do something a bit more involved, if you did something with, say, a nuke, and you didn't want to have to go through all the gameplay to get there, this is what you would do: you would just set up a multiplayer game, uh, create, and then options. Check off debug menu. And then, obviously I need to add in some bots, start the game. 
And what debug menu will do is, I can right click, there's this new uh, button here, instant build speed, build everywhere, anywhere, 20 grand, visibility, get rid of that, instant charge. <laughs> Uh, and all that sort of thing. And then if I wanted to build a nuke, uh, it's instantly ready, boom. I have my nuke and say I wanted to like change the radius of the nuke, I could do that. Um, it's ready right away again, goodbye. Yeah, so debug menu is very helpful if you're doing some later game stuff and you wanna check to make sure it works. All right, I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, please feel free to send me an email or message if you're having a hard time with this. Thanks, bye.